I never thought I'm gonna bury my own kid. A Valley father is gunned down in the street. Now his family is turning to 13 Action News in hopes of getting justice. This as we're seeing video of the victim hours before he was killed. 13 Action News reporter Masa Saidi is live from near MLK and Lake Mead with an interview you'll see only on 13 Action News. Masa. <laughs> Trisha Steve, police tell us this is where Jared Medina, the victim, would often hang out. It was almost exactly a week ago when he encountered someone here. Shortly thereafter, police say his body was found just a few blocks away. I was waiting at the door, waiting for him. Then maybe he's going to knock on the door and, and tell me that this is a mistake. It's a nightmare she can't wake up from. Her son, Jared Medina, found shot dead near Lexington Street and Laurie Avenue. Tonight, police turning to you for help, releasing this surveillance video of Jared hours before his death early Thursday morning. Any idea why this could have happened? I really don't have any idea. I wish I can have the idea. Only I know that he wanted to go and visit his girlfriend. Detectives believe the 24-year-old got into a fight with someone before he was killed. That fight happening between 1 and 3 a.m. near MLK and Lake Mead. Here's a picture of the type of hoodie Jared was wearing that night. I haven't seen him because I don't have the guts to see him. Jared not only leaves behind his mom and two siblings, but also a beautiful daughter. She looks just like my son. She's so smart. The family hoping by sharing their story, they can get justice. He was my best friend. He was one of the greatest people I ever knew, and she's never going to get to know that. So you saw Jared's face, you saw the hoodie that police say he was wearing. Now police want to know, did you see him that night? Either witnessed a fight here near here near Lake Mead and MLK or witnessed his body on the sidewalk afterwards. If you have any information, you can contact Crime Stoppers. And, and as always, it can be anonymous. Reporting live, Masa Saidi, 13 Action News.